Good Metal Morning, Metalverse. Welcome to Metal in the Morning with Josh. Your weekly conversation about all things metal with yours truly. Big thanks to everyone joining in for episode number four. We're getting close to that one month mark, and I'm glad we've made it this far. So without further ado, let's dig in. Last week I mentioned the possibility of a concert between Avenged Sevenfold, Metallica, and Bulby. And guess what? It's freaking happening. Look for the awesome tour coming to a city near you. The link will be in the description. More in regards to Metallica, if anyone did not see the Grammys, which don't blame you, I have to mention the awesome job that Lady Gaga and Metallica did again. There was some technical difficulties with Jane Hetfield's mic due to it being unplugged. But it was an amazing performance. They, they really killed it. I'm not a pop fan by no means, but I have to say, Lady Gaga actually rocked it. Don't believe me? Check out the link in the description. Also, for any of you are uh, old as I late dying fans out there. Looks like Tim Lambesis was just recently released from prison. For anyone not in the know, he was serving a six year sentence for soliciting an off duty cop to kill his ex wife. Yikes. I believe in redemption, but guys and gals, I don't believe we'll be hearing any new material from as a late dying in the future. On a positive note, I think, Looks like you'll be getting married sometime soon. Good luck, Tim. Now to the album of the week. I'd like to give a big metal thanks to Kyle Gunderson, a good friend and a subscri subscriber to MMWJ for the album of the week from KXM called Scatterbrain. Thanks, man. Many of you may not be familiar with KXM, but they are a somewhat newer hard rock supergroup comprised of Horns drummer Ray Luzier, King's X bassist and vocalist Doug Pinnock, and Lynch Mobs, and Slash X Dokens, for all of you that are uh, older metalheads, guitarist George Lynch. I'm a fan of Korn and George Lynch as a musician. So when Kyle sent me this, uh, sent me one of their songs, I got pretty psyched. The song he sent me was called Skip. It's a pretty hard, riffy, and has uh, some catchy grooves. In some ways, it kind of reminds me of Alice in Chains, um, but that's just my opinion. Overall, really good song. I've heard a couple other songs off the album. That's pretty impressed with what I heard. Looking forward to hearing the rest of it. Check out the album that's coming out in on March 17th. Now, for this week, I really don't have anything for up and coming albums worth mentioning, but I can say if you're a fan of frog metal, check out the newest release from the band Witherfall called Nocturnes and Requiems. It's pretty awesome. Well, that's a lap. That's a wrap, ladies and gents. Hope you like the show. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Any suggestions and comments will be used for up and coming episodes. Remember, Metal Burst. Stay classy. Stay metal.